Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. And if you are new to this channel, are into learning DaVinci Resolve filmmaking tips and tricks, and want to have a look at some pretty cool gear, this channel might be something for you, and I would recommend you to subscribe. So in this video, we're going to have a look at the frame pack from AFX. And what is this? Well, this is a pack that will give you the ability to put picture in picture inside of borders and frames uh, into your projects. And it's uh, kind of advanced because you can actually make them do those automatically. You can do it uh, to up to, I think it's 28 pictures in picture style thing, which is quite amazing. And um, for the low price of five bucks, this is maybe something you want to have in your arsenal of awesome things. Of course, this is not something that can be used for all of your projects. It is kind of a specific thing, but I can see it being used for music videos and for product shots, it might be good as well. Um, stuff like that. Again, uh, just a super quick disclaimer, the product was sent to me by AFX and um, they didn't tell me what they want me to say about it and if I should say anything actually, but um, I choose to make the video anyway because I actually think this could be quite useful for somebody in the community of DaVinci Resolve. Okay, that out of the way. Let's go right to the video and I'll take you through how to import them and how they actually work. And there'll be some sample footage in this as well. And um, let's get right to that. Okay, so let's get right to it. So first off, I'll show you how to import those and you'll need to go to your program files into DaVinci Resolve, into Fusion, and then go into Templates and into Edit and into Generators. Okay, and here we have our downloaded folder from AFX, and I'm just going to copy paste these three files here, the settings file. It's going to copy those, and I'm going to copy paste this into the generators, and I'm just going to say okay to this. There we go. Also, we have some templates here. I'm going to copy those as well. And then I'm just going to open up the Vinci Resolve. The next time we open this up, we'll go to the effects library down to generators. And down here we have the fusion generators. And as you see, you have the different things right here. So let's uh, start with the first one. First off, I'm going to take four clips here um, of some beer bottles. Like so I'm just going to make some space here. Like so. And then I'll just go into the effects library and into the generators again. And I'm going to take the, let's see, I have the different types here. So we could try the, uh, the frame generator. I'm just going to drag that in. I'm going to put that on top of my clips. As you see right here, I'm just going to zoom in and then I'm just going to make the clip itself a little bit longer. And then I have all of these things so with the generator selected i have uh, if you go into the generator here into the inspector i have different versions here so you can actually see um it will change the amount of frames available so for this thing let's uh, work with this one i think I think we'll take number four. I think that's what we want to do. And then of course we can uh, customize this thing here again, if we want to. So um, down here we have a lot of different numbers and what this is doing is just the lines. We can actually customize the lines as we want and we can even do keyframes on some of them. Um, so, this video I think something like this would be just great and then I can just simply select the clip go into the inspector with the clip I want selected and then I can start by cropping the image or I can stabilize the image or I can do whatever I want to it 
actually I'm just going to mute all of the tracks so it's easier to see what I'm actually doing so again I'm just going to crop the first layer into something I think would look good let's try to say we want it to be like something like that then I'm just going to select the other one and I'm going to enable this control D by the way and then let's see what I have in my shot with, that I want and uh, I could crop things or I could zoom things as well in this case I think I'll zoom I'm just going to position it where I think it would be great zoom it up a bit and then I'll just move it around something like that and then I'm just going to crop up the rest here and I'll go to the next one and I'll do the same thing here again we'll do it a little faster so this for this one I'm just going to zoom it and make it fit wherever I want it something like that and then again I'll go to the last one and uh, well I can move this around a little bit Maybe I, I want this thing here and maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller and uh, move it here in space. Something like that. Maybe it would be fun if it had the same size as the bottom ones. Something like that, maybe. Okay. Just going to go back to the generator and uh, then I can change the border size if I want to make it bigger something like that change the color and I'll use this yellowish color I seem to love to use so here we have that effect just a pretty easy way to do this effect okay so for the next one I'm going to use the grid template I'm just going to put that on top here I'm going to drag that in and uh, then I'm going to change here in the grid. I can actually change the the size so it's two by two, which is four, and I can do eight by eight, which is a lot of frames. So in this case, I'll do two by two, and uh, the basic idea is the same as before. You're just going to resize all of your images so they'll fit into the border. So I'll remove that and I'll take a shadow frame which works a little bit different so this is going to give you four frames uh, again i can change that if i want that to be different let's say i want to have um, that is also a lot of frames something like that and then of course I can change the border width and the colors and all of that as I want. And then I can also do a corner radio so they will be more rounded. So now I'm just going to quickly change all of the different settings around and it's, it's the same thing. But um, in one second I'll show you uh, something a little neat and unique to this thing so first off i'm just going to quickly move these around so they'll be inside of my frames so let's say that's the way we want it and let's head into fusion and i'll show you a little trick here so maybe you don't want to have a black background it's pretty easy to add in a new background drag down a background and connect that to the afx shadow frame and if you go into the inspector with the background selected, we can easily change the color to, let's say we want to have this red color. And as you see, it will also give you shadows. And that's pretty neat, I think. So you can also, if you want, use something else. Let's say we want to take the exact same footage and use that as a background. It'll just use the background instead. So that's kind of unique as well. So that is the shadow frames. Okay, so let's take one of the automatic ones. 
I'm going to highlight all of my clips and then I am simply just going to make a new fusion clip. Grab here. I'll select that and I'll go into fusion. And what I'm going to do here is maybe a little bit strange because I am just going to give myself a little bit of space. Then I'm going to highlight everything fusion just did and delete it. So I'll go up to the effects library. Then I'll choose edit templates. I'm going to generators and here I have my AFX generators and I'm going to take the two by two automatic. I'm just going to click that in and then I'm just going to connect that to the media out and voila, here we have an automatic generated. And if I want to move things around, I can just drag them around here if that's what I want. Also, I can change the border size and the overall size, of course, like I just did. And if we go here, I can change the frame color. Let's say we want to use this yellow color again. And down here we have an interesting setting that is the window settings. This just means that we can actually zoom in our footage and make it fit the way we want. So I'll just do that very quickly here. Zoom, and then um, we can also position it as we wanted. But we can also move around these arrows if we want to reposition our shot, like so. So here we have that little effect. Okay, so that was a look at the frame from AFX. And I do think it is a nice product. It is maybe not for everybody, but if you're doing music videos and maybe corporate videos and stuff like that, it might be helpful. I think for the five bucks, it's definitely worth the money. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.